Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Tuesday, June 4th of 2023. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this energy. Remember, this is collective. It is for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, click book a reading or schedule a reading and I've got two different places at the top of the page and below where you get a little description and then you can select your time but don't forget you've got a coupon code so take advantage of it now it ends June the 17th I'll be more than happy to help you ferret out what's going on if you need a little direction tarot is always here to help with that it is a magical process and i am continuously surprised and amazed and delighted by the way it guides me to help all so let's see what the cards have to say for this beautiful day as we begin we have the princess of pentacles and the judgment card the princess of pentacles is the energy of an offer of abundance coming in now you don't have to take it but it looks like it's something coming in that was happening uh, previously or that you were trying to uh, cultivate previously it's now showing back up so Whatever you thought was off the table, Archangel Gabriel is blowing the horn of resurrection here to bring it back around. It may be wearing a whole new uh, outfit. It doesn't mean that it's the exact same opportunity, but it's probably even better than the one you initially tried to set in motion. So with that as our beginning, who couldn't crank up some relentless op optimism? <laughs> who couldn't crank up their relentless optimism and bring in the beautiful change using the law of attraction the law of divine compensation and our ability to focus our energy to create our best possible lives now it's harder to focus the the tungle tungle tangles so here we go thank you angels archangels divine pure white light Divine Spirit, yes, will take this wonderful Elvira Knievel uh, chariot energy. I call her Elvira Knievel because Evil Knievel jumped the Snake River at the Grand Canyon. So this is that energy of allowing yourself to move past all obstacles without trying to control it. She doesn't have her hands on anything. She's trusting this chariot to take her above and beyond. And that's what we have to do is trust divine that it has our highest good in its heart. And we, we just have to allow and move in that energy. Don't hold yourself back when the universe has a victory right in front of you. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon, and Rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So here we go with our beautiful three cards out. And our underlier is, love it, the master manifester, the magician, our focused energy on creation and allowing ourselves to believe and get out of our own way without blocking ourselves of why we, you know, like putting in the why and the where and the how and the who. We don't need the timing. We don't need, it's going to be exactly the right thing at the right time, every single time. So with that said, gratitude is a very good manifesting start. The attitude of gratitude will get you everywhere. Now, being in the energy of already being grateful before something comes in, allows you to manifest it without blocking it right you're already agreeing that this is the, the outcome and the universe goes okay it's clear path right so gratitude is a beautiful high vibration frequency that will pull you through as long as you can get your head out of the negative or the somebody else's other funky that they throw on you people pour salt on each other all the time but we we don't have time for that we're not going to judge other people we're not going to judge ourselves we're going to release all of that I am grateful for and appreciate all the abundance I have in my life today. Yes, you have abundance in your life today. Whether or not you're paying attention to it is a whole nother matter. 
but everything we we have the abundance of life within us right so just begin there if you can't think of anything else we are alive we are breathing we are participating in this grand wondrous energy of creation itself good fortune yes we've received that beautiful energy of good fortune is always welcome the universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune you go well but i don't see any prospect here here we go again remind you you're the one that says what's true and not true what you do is you say thank you universe i am surrounded by prospects for good fortune Everywhere I look is a new prospect for good fortune. It seeks me out. I am such a wonderful attractor of all the good things and the wonderful things for my life to move forward in healing and abundance and joy. And everybody I know benefits from the energy that I am focused on. Right? Right. That's the way you manifest. Get an agreement with it. And I just have to show you this because it's on the bottom. Big happy changes. We'll take them. Thank you, universe. I just, sometimes I look and sometimes I don't. And that time I didn't. Peaceful resolution. This is a wonderful thing. Because if we can find some of this out there in the universe and drag it into our reality right now, between now and the end of the year, we're going to need a peaceful resolution. No matter what happens. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> We're bringing in that to help the Ukraine, to help the people that are in, uh, in, in the, I guess it's Gaza. I'm, I don't know a lot about that. So don't be mad at me just because I don't know, but best possible outcome. That's what we want. We want all of it to resolve itself in the highest good for all peaceful resolution and find that place of peace within yourself. You don't have to think about any of those specific things I just named. If you can just find that peace within you. And sit in that energy, you start to radiate it and, and bring it into harmony with other people who are also doing that. There's entire groups of people working on peace. Healing. Well, we had that a couple days ago, and here it is again. So the beautiful energy of the frequency of healing allows us to support the intrinsic ability within us to restore our health and wholeness by Sorry, consciously, there was a glare, by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. Absolutely. Not only do we heal ourselves in the energy of healing, we heal everything else as we radiate that energy. And that's a beautiful way to keep, bring yourself to a place of wholeness and to allow the rest of us to come along with. Now we have. Courage. Dare to be different, to make mistakes. Create, for it is in creation that you exist. In this world of dreams that seem to stem from the eternal heart, you are one with all creation. All is possible. Go forth and be true to yourself, for it is only in being true to you that you can be true to others. Honor yourself. Honor your gifts. Honor your differences. Allow yourself to be a little eccentric or whatever it is for you. You are who you are. There is no other you. They, they, somebody could look like you. It could even be a twin, but you're not the same. There are differences. So allow yourself to celebrate your uniqueness, because that's what makes you special. Creativity. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence, all is valid. And so it is. And it's true. We're all here to be different in order to synchronize all the energies of everything that could possibly be into this experience that we're having right now. Here we go. Ooh, Knight of Cups. This is an extension or an offer or somebody being honest and uh, forthwith 
of being authentic about how they feel about you or that they want you to be part of something that they're inviting you to do. So usually he's on horseback, so it's a fast-moving energy. And we have the Four of Swords reminding us that we are the most important thing to allow our own healing and to allow ourselves to be in a place of restoration. When this card comes out, it usually means you've been running yourself ragged. And this is the beginning of summer, so I know people are doing that. Remember to get enough sleep, to eat good food, fresh, good, healthy, wholesome food, whatever that means for you. Whatever can bring your vitality up is what it means to me. And allowing yourself to be in that place of nurturing your inner self in the ability to continue on as your mission in this not complete yet in this beautiful earth realm. So keep yourself moving in the energy of maintenance. You've got to do the maintenance just like on a car or on you know, horses, whatever it is, you've got to have, you got to take care of your animals. You've got to take care of yourself. Don't deny yourself just because everybody else seems to come first. And balance is required with this beautiful energy of temperance. It is the Sagittarius Major Arcana, and it means the alignment of all things in synchronicity. So thank you, universe, for coming in to assist with the synchronicity, to allow us to know that we are on the right path, and we are definitely being helped by divine. So I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.